So, um, and also in this example, you know, the back of the book, there's not like an answer. It's basically showing your work. When you guys take your test, you're basically, the only way I can verify that you did these correctly is by you showing your work. Because you're just verifying that the left side is equal to the right side, correct? So you're going to have to show me your work, how those work. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, again, as I mentioned, we're trying to show that this side is equivalent to that side. The steps that I said was pick a side. Doesn't matter what side, but pick a side usually that you have an operation to. I would choose to pick the left side because if I want to make the left side look like the right side, I need to combine these two that are separated by addition to make sure that they're separated by multiplication, correct? So I would say this would probably be the one that would be the best operation. The next thing is to simplify this, so I'm just going to simplify the left side. I'm going to simplify by using my operations. Well, to add tangent of x and cotangent of x, I know those are not like terms, so I can't add them. However, if I write them in terms of sines and cosines, now all I did was use my quotient identities, and I rewrote them in terms of sines and cosines. Now I can think of, now I can combine them into one single expression. Because remember, if I want them to look like the right side, I've got to combine it to one single expression, correct? So if I combine them to one single expression, then it might look like the right side. I don't know. I'm just going to try something. So by doing that, I now obtain sine of x plus, or sine, of, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x all over sine of x cosine of x. And using my Pythagorean identities, Notice how my equal sign, I haven't done anything on the right side, but I'm still going to write equals because you can keep on saying it's always equal to the right side. Um, what is sine squared plus cosine squared? OK, so we're going to want to make sure we have those uh, reference sheets with us at all times. Sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. Now, that 1. You could basically rewrite that for over there. So what's 1, one over sine? Cosecant of x. What's 1 over cosine? Do you guys agree with me that cosecant times secant is the same thing as secant times cosecant? So you don't need to rewrite it so it's in that format. You can just keep it like that. And then you just show me that it's verified. So on your test, as well as on your homework, that would be like the work I would need to see. I like to see the equal signs all the way throughout the process. OK? Make sense? OK. These are the worst types of problems ever to grade. So the more steps you can show me.